Hello, today I'm going to show you how I spin on an African beadwell spindle uh, and it's a supported technique and I'm using a little bowl. This one's made of quite a solid piece of wood so it sits nice and steady and it's got a very shallow dish in the top. Okay, so first of all you need to practice on twirling the spindle. I generally turn mine clockwise and I find the easiest way is to let the spindle shaft rest on the tip of my middle finger and then with my thumb I roll back towards my palm giving it a sharp flick clockwise and then let the spindle rest in the crook of my thumb. So on the tip of my middle finger roll the thumb back towards my palm and you can make a circle with your finger so that the spindle won't escape and let it rest back in the crook of your thumb. And an empty spindle will go for ages. You may find it's more comfortable for you if you use your forefinger, just the same, or even the third finger. Just try different movements out and see which suits you the best. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate with some uh, indigo dyed cotton sliver. Okay, so pull a few fibres from the end, and give them a little bit of twist, sort of finger spinning to make yourself a sort of start to them. Okay. Now take the fibres on the end and push them over the tip of the spindle. Give your spindle a short flick clockwise and then start to draft the fibres out. When you've got your first length spun, push it down a little bit and then spiral it up the tip. Push that down to the bottom and spiral up to the tip again. The correct angle for spinning off the point is about 45 degrees. So as you twist the spindle, the yarn just flips off the tip and puts twist in. Okay. If you hold the yarn straight off the tip and the spindle upright, all it does is just unravel. Okay. And the other way, if you hold it at right angles, it just winds on. Okay, that will just pull the yarn out of your hand. When you're first practicing, you probably want to do a, a twist, draft, twist, draft sort of motion. So give it a twist, catch the spindle tip and draft up until you use the twist. Give it a little bit more of a twist and draft again. Twist and draft. Okay. It's also a useful technique if you've, like I've got now, a dyed sliver that's not running very smoothly. When you get practice and you've got a nice smooth running sliver, you should then be able to just draft slightly ahead of the twist and keep it going. Okay. 